sex as power uh, is sort of in this movie here. What to, can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, sex does have a lot of power that, that comes with it, and I think there's a lot of sexual tension, and there's sex that is used correctly and sex used unfairly in this film. So I think that's definitely, uh, that presence is there in this movie. Let's see, you know, you have a particular family situation and an outsider coming in uh, to that situation who's kind of got his own kind of compromised past that he can't be forthright about and uh, you have these players that uh, get involved in each other's lives and uh, want different things from each other and uh, uh, I think that uh, you know as a result of that dynamic things unfold you know and uh, it's, it's, it can be a, a dangerous thing. My character's agenda initially is just to get the hell out of there, get some money, get out to California. He's got his own thing he's trying to escape. And then I think that he really identifies and relates to Flyboy and, and doesn't want this kid to be so scared or shy to live life or take chances. And uh, also I think he's, um, I think he's drawn to Flyboy because Flyboy is someone uh, who is very honest with who he is. He likes this kind of music, he reads these books, and that's something that's not looked at fondly by the rest of the people who work on the feedlot. Uh, but yet he doesn't, even though he's picked on for it, he doesn't change or try to be something else. And Clay someone who's very dishonest and not forthright about who he is or what he's done. And I think he finds some value in that. So I think it's kind of a mutual give and take relationship between the two characters. Well, I loved the script initially when I read it years ago. And uh, I just thought there was, this movie was bold in that there's not a lot of things being done like this nowadays. And it's a complicated story and they're really dealing with a lot. And then when meeting J.P. Kelly, uh, you know, his passion for it and insistence on directing it and being the one to tell the story, especially being a first-time director, um, made me all the more uh, passionate to be a part of that, to be a part of someone's vision, you know. You know, uh, I guess nice. I, I don't really think about those things that much. I, I, I don't know how you can, you know. It's, it's a part of promotion for your films and that sort of thing. And, um, of course, in my line of work, it's important and flattering to be included in that way. But uh, it's not something that I consciously run in my mind all the time. I'm on the cover of this magazine, you know. Um, it's very separate. Those things become very separate in your life, you know. It's strange, like you'll be in a hotel room or at a home with a friend or a group of friends, and you hang out, and the dynamic is so just regular. And then you'll go out in public and get recognized, and it's like, you know, you almost forget that, at least for me at this stage, that you've done films that people have seen so they come up to you. It's almost like two different worlds, you know, and um, they're very separate from one another. When people are nice about it and genuine and say, boy, I really like this film or I like this, of course that feels great. You know, whatever your work is to have recognition that's positive for it feels good. When people are rude or, you know, not considerate about it, of course that's no fun for anybody. No one likes to be treated like that. So it depends on an individual basis. Well, you know, those are all great actors and I think that, that people will compare people coming up <coughs> Sometimes I, I think school uh, uh, school is uh, still out on me, and the jury's still out. Uh, I should say, uh, you know, after just a few films to be compared to that. I'm on my own journey. You know, I try to do material that I find interesting, work with people that I can relate to, and that I think believe about believe in what they're doing. And uh, I've learned so much. You know, even from my performance in this film, and from my performance in Swingers, and The Lost World, and now these other two films I've done, and, and will always continue to. And um, and um, you know, although that's flattering, I, I don't think it's uh, you know true uh, because I think that everyone's different. You know, everyone's individuals and. Of course, for me and a lot of actors in my generation, we've had the benefit of learning from a lot of these people, you know, and, and seeing their stuff. So it's just a different thing, I think. Well, it gives you opportunities to investigate and, and be a part of stories that you find interesting, which is always what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a storyteller. I've always liked telling stories, and I wanted to be an actor involved in things that I found interesting. And so it's given me an opportunity to do that, and for that I'm truly thankful and blessed. I'm sure there's some things that I would like to do that, that uh, either my schedule would not allow me to do it or the filmmaker wouldn't see me in that part and uh, I'm sure that will happen, you know, till, um, till my career ends, you know, whenever that may be. And I'm sure there's times where people that have good scripts or films that turn out good I won't do for whatever reason, you know, so, you know, that, that stuff is so unpredictable. But I think that I have an opportunity now where I'm given a chance to be involved in things that I like. So, you know, however much that will change or this, it's constantly you know, in, in, in short periods of time, it changes rapidly.